not really good at articulating my feelings into words, so I'm just gonna word vomit and hope for the best, okay? Okay. <laughs> It's Jay and today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite badass females in books. This video is probably going to contain some spoilers for certain books so if you see a book that I hold up that you haven't read yet maybe don't watch or skip over that part so that you guys aren't spoiled because I'll be going into like certain instances why I think that they are badass and need to be recognized so if you haven't read the book then maybe, you know, flitter away for a little while. So without further ado, let us get started. The first badass female that I really want to talk about because I recently read this book and she just... Damn. It is Kate Harker from The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and she is just the epitome of badass. Like the opening scene of the book is literally her burning down a school chapel with wine that she stole from a nun like what what like what she faces demons and these sins and monsters and it's just like bruh what the heck where did you come from just like damn this girl is badass and I would not want to be on her bad side because she will kick your ass and you'll die the next badass female I want to talk about is actually a group of badass females and that is literally every single female in Cinder. So like Cinder, Crest, Scarlet, Iko, Winter. Like Cinder for one, I just can't with her sometimes because she just will not take no for an answer. If she believes in something, she gonna fight you on it and she gonna get what she wants. Scarlet, I just think she's so cool. Like at one point, her finger literally gets cut off and she's just like, yeah, whatever, I got nine more, fuck it, like, what? If my finger got cut off, I would literally be like a little sniffling bitch on the floor who never stopped crying because I have a terrible pain tolerance, but this bitch, man, damn. And then Cress. Yes, she did rely on Thorn a lot for some things, you know, a lot of things, but this bitch was still intense. Like, she is a hacker. She hacked into like the spaceship and all this shit and like hijacked it. Like what? Who does that? Cress? And then Winter. Everybody says she's crazy but no no. She is just so kind and adorable and she's so sweet but still she could kick your ass if she wanted to so like. The next badass female that I want to talk about is N. Salta from Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have read this book and she starts off super prissy, super annoying, I want to punch her in the face. As the story progresses and she meets Levi, she becomes more of a badass. She starts doing things that you definitely did not expect from her. Like at one point she's trapezing off of shit and running away from guards and it's just like where did this come from? Like you, you were this little petite scared as shit of everything girl. And then all of a sudden she's like playing in casinos and poisoning people and like what is going on with this bitch? The next badass female I want to talk about is Grace from K.A. Tucker's Keep Her Safe. And this bitch, oh my god. From like the very moment you meet her, she is so badass. This guy named Noah, his mom is the chief of police of the Austin, Texas police department and she ends up dying and it leaves him a message that says that he needs to go see this girl named Grace who is the daughter of her partner. Gracie's father was also a cop but he was framed as being corrupt and he was murdered on the job. So what happens is that Noah has to go see Gracie in her little trailer park full of drug dealers and shit and basically deliver her this duffel bag of cash that his mom was hiding. And it's just like, okay, what the heck is going on? Why does his mom have this duffel bag of cash? Literally the first time Noah meets Gracie, she just comes out with this shotgun and she's like, bitch, if you don't get off my property, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. And it's just like, what? What is happening? Like, this bitch is so badass and everything that happens in the book, she's just like, I'm not gonna listen to you because I'm gonna do what I want, so <laughs> deal with it. And she just fucks shit up and it's just like, oh, I love this bitch. And then 
my final badass females. I'm pretty sure if you've been on this channel for a while, you know what my favorite book is and how I adore literally every single character this series, but it is a Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen and literally every single female in this book is such a badass. It's really hard to explain without giving away the whole premise of the book, but basically this girl is able to use music as a weapon in order to stop this evil conductor guy and it's so interesting. So first you have Ranja who is the main character. She's just a badass. Honestly the first time that she meets Rorik who's the main guy character she basically runs him over with a train. And then Tara is one of the soldiers and she's just all around a badass. Like she ain't taking shit from anybody. She will knock you the fuck out. I want to knock a lot of people out, but I would never actually do it. She'll actually do it. And then there is Evie and Iris. Iris is the medic of the group and she is just this little tiny pipsqueak of a thing. But if you fuck with her or the people that she loves, like she is going to go off and she will kick your ass. And then there's Evie, who is Iris's like lover and they're adorable together. Don't get me wrong. She's another one that if you mess with the people that she loves, like she's going to kick your ass like you're done and in the other two books radio and siren that really comes out but i just love all of these girls so much they are just so empowering and ferocious and i just i love this series and you guys should all read it although this is like not a video about vinyl like i'm making it a video about vinyl all right guys so that was my super rambly uh badass females video. I should have probably, you know, scripted it or thought of this more, but honestly, I just love these girls so much and I think that they're so empowering and I'm just like, yes, bitch, get it. So, I'm not sorry about it, but let me know down below if you've read any of these and let me know some of your badass female characters that you love and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!